As time has gone on, uh, the audio video industry and the components and the connections, you know, they've continued to evolve and they've continued to change. And one thing that we're seeing evolving, particularly in the past decade or so, is subwoofers, subwoofer amplifiers uh, that have, you know, high level input so that you can connect the left and right speaker feed from your amplifier to drive the subwoofer they're starting to disappear from subs so they only have you know an RCA input now you know the the typical criticism is well yeah it's just manufacturers trying to save a buck and you know make more make more money now there is some truth to that I mean yes if you take parts away the cost is going to be less but really it comes down to what's the typical feature set that most customers are going to require and the reason that those high level inputs or even in some cases stereo RCA inputs are disappearing is the vast majority of people are connecting a subwoofer to a an AVR an audio video receiver or you know even a modern two-channel integrated amp that has a dedicated line level subwoofer output and in the context of an AVR where it's a multi-channel system for home theater where you've got you know center front surrounds maybe side surrounds at most channels in the ceiling height channels on the front whatever getting the blend with the subwoofer with the built-in controls in the amplifier is going to be very very tough it's much better to use the base management features that are built into your AVR or other component that has a dedicated subwoofer output so it's going to give you better performance now uh, what's going to happen in many cases as well and why these high level speaker level inputs are disappearing from subwoofers is the nature of many power amplifiers today so one thing you need to remember is that uh, particularly in AVRs many of the amplifiers are uh, class D or switching amplifiers and the black or the negative terminal on those amplifiers is not necessarily ground and this can cause some issues trying to drive the high level inputs on subwoofers it also leads to a lot of confusion obviously it's much simpler you don't have to worry about polarity or anything to plug an RCA cable into the subwoofer output and then into your subwoofer and then do all the management in the setup whether manually or automatically in your AVR that's going to be the simplest for most people so that's really why those connections are tending to disappear and you're seeing now more and more subwoofers that don't have a way to connect speaker level inputs now all hope is not lost if you fall in love with a subwoofer or if you get a demo of it or your friends got one and you hear it and you just fall in love with it but it doesn't have line uh, doesn't have speaker level inputs in it and you need them because you're using you know an old school amp or integrated amp in just the stereo system all hope is not lost there are companies that make converter boxes that will allow you to connect speaker level to it and will output in many cases a stereo or even a mono summed RCA line level output so you can still connect your amplifier output at speaker level to those subwoofers with one of these converter boxes so I hope that that clears up that question that I've got a few times uh, lately and uh, you know there there are very good reasons and I, I suspect that one day if the you know the subwoofer output changes whether it's by connection or whether we have more channels going then this the subwoofer industry will have to follow that that's just uh, the nature of progress in this business thanks a lot for watching